Now, so this is the book of Exodus. We're talking about Moses right here. Moses was in captivity under Pharaoh in Egypt, the same way we're in captivity under America here, and um, under the white man in America. And this is what the Most High had Moses go tell Pharaoh. And thou shalt say unto him, the Lord God of the Hebrews. The Lord God of who? Of the Hebrews. Of the who? Of the Hebrews. The Lord God of the Hebrews, man. You know who the Hebrews are? That's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians today, man. And we were his people then in Egypt. We were his people all throughout all these other captivities, even during the time of Christ, because he sent Christ for the Hebrews, for the so-called Israelites. And he's here today. We are the same people here today, man. That's right. Go ahead and read. Has sent me unto thee, uh -huh. saying, let my people go. You what? Let my people go. Now, some would say, and what year was that? 16, uh, uh, 1868, when they did emancipation? Some people would say we was free. We was let go. We would become free at that time. Well, let's see what Moses, let's see what kind of freedom Moses was asking that the Most High sent Moses to ask Pharaoh for. He said, what? Let my people go. Go ahead. Come on, guys. That they may serve me in the wilderness. That they may do what? Serve me. That they may do what? Serve me. That they may do what? Serve me. That they may serve me, man. That they may serve me. That's, right. That's what real freedom is. Freedom is your, your, your right to serve your God, man. That's right. To serve your God, to practice your way of life, to practice your behavioral customs and your political views. But guess what? In America, you can't be against Christmas. You can't be against homosexuality. You can't be against, you can't be, you can't be against uh, 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 pedophilia. Yeah, you don't know that, did you? Right? You could be, you could be a criminal in America and it's okay. And that's what America is pushing. And they set us free into this society, man. And truly, we, we're truly not free, man. Because if we were free, then we would be able to come out here and say the things that are in this Bible and everyone should love us for it. Right. Everyone should love us for it. We should be able to serve our God and, and, and wear our fringes and wear our braids and wear our beards, you understand? Without going into some establishment and being told that we can't have a hairstyle like that. That's right. That we can't wear our hair like that. That right. we can't wear our clothes like that. You understand? That's what real freedom is, man. And, you, and everybody has that freedom except blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Everybody can go into a job and rock their kufi and rock their, uh, 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 what's the little thing the little Jewish people wear on the top of their head? The yarmulkes. They can wear their yarmulke on their head. They can wear their little tassels. They can do every, everything that they believe in their way of life is respected in this place, man. But our way of life has is, is got to be thrown in the trash because the only way of life blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are expected to accept is the right way of life. It's the American way of life. We can't even have a beard if we want to have a beard. You understand? They expect us to shave our face bald. Right. You understand? And not and be less manly if you're a man. And be more masculine if you're a woman. That's what they impose on blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. But this is what the Most High said real freedom is like. Read it from the top. And thou shalt say unto him, The Lord God of the Hebrews has sent me unto thee, saying, let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. In the what? In the wilderness. In the what? In the wilderness. In the wilderness. You want to know why? Because we have to be free from foreign rulership. We have to be free from foreign rulership. We cannot be free in America. America is run by a foreign leader that is, uh, their way of life is contrary to our way of life. The things that the coaches that they live is contrary to our culture. It's like trying to set an animal free inside of a zoo. It's, that doesn't make any sense. So you can't make, make black people free in the home, in the land of the free, the home of the braves. You can't make a, uh, set a, a native Indian free in this land. Why? Because this land is colonized and it's, it is ruled by foreigners. This land is ruled by foreigners and the foreigners that rule this land enslaved the native Indians, man. The foreigners that ruled this land murdered the, the, uh, the so-called Mexicans, man. The, so the man that rules this land put 99 million plus Negroes in slavery, in chattel slavery, man. Right. And then they set us free into their society after they had us build it up. That's not freedom, man. We need to be set apart, man. That's what holy means. We need to be separate from you to be able to serve our God. 
We need to be separate from you to be able to practice our culture and practice our, our customs and our traditions. Right. Because as long as we live in this place and our children have to turn on these TVs and go out to these streets, their lives are in danger because of the foreigners' culture. Their lives in danger every day because of the foreigners' culture, which is pedophilia, drug abuse, drug dealing, murder, rape, robbery, pillage, all of those things, man. That's your culture. Homosexuality, man. And our children are in danger every time they, they're, they, they're exposed in, these, in this society, man. That's right. So for that reason, we have to do what the Lord told Moses to do, and we need to go into the wilderness. We need to separate to be able to serve our God, man. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, your culture is in this Bible, man. That's right. Your traditions are in this Bible. That's right. Your political views are in this Bible. The way you should behave is in this Bible, man. And we don't know that because we've been lied to. We've been lied to, man. We've been, we've been, we've been bam, bamboozled. You understand by these, by the people who run this place. And they will rather see us sing and dance rather than to go in here and put drugs down, go in these records and get the, uh, the, the, the intelligence that's in there that, call, that helps us to get, uh, fight drug addictions. They rather see us sing and dance and throw a football and do slam dunks rather than to see us be fathers and mothers the right way we're supposed to be. Rather than see us to be husbands and wives the way we're supposed to be. You understand? And because we follow their culture and their way of life, our marriages end. Our marriages end. Because we follow their cultures and their traditions, our brotherhood is weak. Our sisterhood is weak because we follow their culture. Our, our, our economics are weak because we follow their culture, man. Right. So with that being said, what the brother is bringing out is so heavy, man. We've lost our identity, we've lost our ways, and we think that we're free, but really we are still slaves, man. And we need to understand through this Bible that in order for us to be free, that means being able to serve your God. And blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you better know that it is a privilege to be able to serve your God, man. Right. It's a privilege to be able to serve your God. Why do you think all these other nations do it and they have so much pride when they serve their gods? That's right. They kill in the name of their God. You understand? Then they, they fly, then they, don't they blow themselves up in the name of Allah? Right. Don't they go run planes in the towers and all that in the name of Allah? You understand? Don't the, don't the uh, so-called uh, Africans cut off clitorises and do all, the, all this diabolical, di uh, diabolical mutilation to their bodies? In the name of their God and their culture? That's right. Well, guess what? That's because it's a privilege for them to be able to do that, and they do it, man. Well, guess what, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians? You have a beautiful culture, man. Right. You have a beautiful way of life, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You are a beautiful people, and the Lord made you that way, man. The Lord chose you over all people upon the face of the earth, and you should serve the Lord. You should serve the God of Israel because it's your right to be able to serve your God. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow. Got betrayed, so packed. I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues, but this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom, the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 